what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to be talking about the creep franchise in this video here today better yet we're going to be talking about the upcoming creep tv show so this is coming like seven to eight years after that last film came out and it's been a while since i've watched either one of those creep films although i remember both of them being rather good Today, Mark Duplass gave us a special announcement to confirm that we will be returning to this world. He made this announcement over on TikTok. IndieWire has put out an update to this report to let us know that seven years after the release of Creep 2, Mark Duplass is ready to return to his dryly comedic footage horror franchise, found footage horror franchise. The multi-hyphenate has announced that he completed production on the Creep tapes an episodic series that promises to introduce horror fans to a new collection of victims from the vault of Duplass's nameless killer. The series co-created by Duplass and Creep director Patrick Bryce, who also directed every episode, is currently being shot to buyers. The first Creep film released in 2014 at the tail end of the found footage horror renaissance launched by Paranormal Activity in 2007, it starred Duplass as a killer who hired a filmmaker to document his actions for a day as a ploy to lure him into a dark trap. I think that person's name was Aaron. And then we got Sarah in Creep 2, I believe. Goes on to say 2017's Creep 2 used a similar formula with Duplass' character taking a different name. I think the name he ended up taking actually ended up being Aaron, the man he killed in the first one. And working with a different filmmaker. The series will take fans through the killer's vault to reveal the stories of other filmmakers who fell for his bloody scheme. The series is based on a collection of videotapes in the secret vault of the world's deadliest and most socially uncomfortable serial killer who hires his victims to film him for the day under false pretenses, Duplass said in a statement announcing the exciting news. Each episode exposes a new victim from one of the fabled creep tapes. Now, this TV show while it might not be what everyone has wanted, because I know a lot of people have been wanting that third creep film. That's not what this is. After seven years away, this feels like a appropriate step to take to reintroduce this nameless killer. Although you can call him Joseph, call him Aaron, you can call him anything because I'll call him Joseph. That's the first name he gave us. Then he went to Aaron in the second one. This would be a great way to reintroduce Joseph and explore that little tease we got at the end of the first movie anyway there was a moment at the end of that first film it's been a while but i remember at the very end there was something in his closet some type of cupboard he had some type of door he had shut off he opened it and there were tapes of previous victims that had allegedly or you could presume at least fell into his grabs and now with a show like this coming I would imagine we're going to be exploring the ending of that first film and those tapes that we saw. I think that's quite brilliant. You can reintroduce the character, see if it gains any sort of popularity, and then pull the trigger on a potential third creep film. I think it's brilliant. I would love to see this show end up on Netflix. I think that would be a great place for it, for it to end up on. Uh, it could even end up on YouTube. I'm sure wherever this ends up, as long as it's marketed well, it will get a lot of attention. I'm sure whoever nabs this show is going to draw a lot of attention to it. I think that there is a decent fan base for the Creep franchise. Uh, I don't think it's anything major, but I think there is a decent amount of people who are interested in this IP being revived. Mark Duplass does a tremendous job as that character, from what I recall. Very terrifying, very unnerving. Definitely makes you uncomfortable because of how calm, cool, and collected he seems. While disclosing some of the most diabolical and rather disturbing details i recall just these bits of interactions he would have with his victims from the first two films and i was like how do you just deliver it as if it's a walk in the park something is wrong with you he plays psychotic so well i cannot wait to see what he does in this show i think the approach they're taking is quite wise and again, a phenomenal way to reintroduce the character, see if this character actually can be given new life with a third film, if the TV show garners any sort of attention, and take it from there. What do you guys think about this upcoming The Creep Tape Show? Do you think this will be something worthwhile? Is it something you're not looking forward to? Is it something you really don't care about? For those of you who have been looking forward to a Creep 3, does this let you down that it's not Creep 3? Or do you think this is in fact going to be what I think it'll be? A way to test the waters to see if they want to pull the trigger on doing a full-fledged third film. You guys can let me know all of that down in the comment section below. I just wanted to do a short, quick video on Creep and this Creep tape show that is coming. I think it's brilliant, a clever way to reintroduce him, 
and again explore the ending of that first film since we were teased that he had done this once before and this is a great way to get him back into the horror fandom. I think Mark actually did give some comments about an update on Creep 3 in 2020 where he said he actually said this with IndieWire. He said if we're going to make a third one, it better be a super and it better be super inspired. We are trying and we are putting effort into it, but we are not good enough yet to make it worthwhile. So we are struggling. That's really it. Now, I'm wondering if instead of deciding what to do with Creep 3, they kind of put that aside and decided to just focus on those tapes that were teased at the end of the first film. Just because, of course, that would probably be something a lot more easier to conceive for them. And maybe in the midst of it all, they figured out what they want to do for Creep 3. The first thing that's going to be tested, though, is if people are ready to go back into the world of Joseph and his nonsense and how crazy he is and see where that sticks with this show. And if it is a success, I imagine whoever ends up buying and debuting this show will allow them to green light a third film and we'll go from there. But you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to the creep tapes? Let me know why or why not down below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification that you never miss a video in the description. I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.